the show. Here's why. In a moment, I'm going to ask you a trivia question. 
I'm going to have you send me the answer to that question to my Instagram page. That's where this QR code will take you right now. You know how to use those. And in order to qualify, you have to do two things. You have to follow me, and you have to get the question correct. It's that simple. I'll pick someone at random that does both of those things, and they will win a glow stick to help light up your Fright Fest evening. You're going to see this a few moments ago. I posted a picture of... The Mummy, not my mummy, but The Mummy. It has your show date and time on there. I want you to put the answer to the question right there in that comment section. All right, here comes your question. On which holiday did Harry Houdini die? Send me the answer to that. We'll find out who our winner is in a few moments. You know, right now I'd like to invite our first participant from the audience up here to help out. I'm looking for someone who's old enough to have a cell phone. Some in our audience old enough to have a cell phone. That's probably most of you. If you'd like to help out, you can put your hand up in the air. Uh, do we have any cell phones? Yes. Yes, right there in the middle. You like to help out? Great. Yeah, bring your phone up with you. Uh, why don't you go that way? Yep, it be easier to get through. And up there, perfect. Now, as you probably know, cell phones are made to be virtually indestructible these days. They're made out of things like titanium and steel and bits of carbon, all that sort of thing. Makes them last a long time. Stand up to some hearty punches. Yeah, right up here for me. Perfect. I'll have you stand over here. Great. What's your name? Layla, Layla, you stand right here for me. That's terrific. Layla, let me see your phone here for a moment. Oh, perfect. Layla has a new phone. That's good because it's going to have the latest strengthening devices to make it last a long time, okay? You don't have to look so concerned, Layla, all right? <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm going to do a bit of a durability test on your phone, okay? Would you stand over here on this blue X for me right there? Perfect. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place Layla's phone inside of a plastic bag, okay? This is to keep the phone from getting wet at all. <laughs> Next, I have a large piece of paper. This is going to help to keep the phone from getting scratched at all during our little experiment. Everything I'm doing, Layla, is just a safety measure to make sure your phone is nice and safe. Now, sometimes people will say to me, Aaron, why don't you just use your own phone during this little experiment? And the answer to that question is very simple. You see, my phone is very important to me. <laughs> Layla, hold on to your phone here for another moment. Beautiful. Next, we're going to hang your phone. <laughs> Next, we're going to hang your phone up here from the ceiling. Actually, can we fix some room up here for Layla to work? She's going to need the whole stage. Layla, come over here with me for a moment. For a <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. That's not supposed to be there. Uh, I apologize. This is actually my Uncle Ray. Uh, we feel kind of sorry for him and the family, so we take him on the road everywhere we go. We feel sorry for him because he ain't got no body. <laughs> They're going to get worse, people. I better buckle up for that, all right? Layla, let me see the phone for a moment. Now, I'm going to find an edge where we're not by the glass. That feels safe. Connect this here, and you, my friend, are going to be in charge of the rope. Would you back up with me over here, Layla? Yep, right over here. Uh, right over here for me. Good? Uh-huh. You're in charge of the rope, my friend. Two hands on that. Perfect. Just like that. Don't yank or pull on it, though, okay? Just like you're doing. Who are you here with today? You got family or friends? Which ones? Family? Both? Okay, where, uh, can I have mom stand up this for, you don't have to come up here, mom. Mom, where are you at? Would you just stand perfect? Do you have pockets? Do you have a pocket anywhere? You do, okay. Just keep your hands out of the pockets and off to your side, just like that, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not gonna believe what's about to happen. In a moment, I'm gonna count to three. When I do, Layla's phone will vanish from that paper package and appear in mom's pockets. <laughs> It could happen, but you've got to help me out, people, with a little bit of energy. We're going to count it out. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, what? <laughs> you sit down, man. You sit down. Did you? You better pray harder. Uh, did you pull on the rope at all? 
Did you? Yeah, you did it. Uh, did she? He's nodding yes, right here. Uh, yeah, you can drop the rope. You did enough of that tonight so far. Yeah, just drop it. Yeah, that's it. You just yeah, there you go. Um, boy, this is not. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Um, yeah, I wish it was. Uh, this gives due meaning to a drop call, huh? <laughs> uh, do you have a, a pay, uh, an insurance plan or anything on your phone? Yeah, you better get one. Uh, you know what? I feel like we should give you, on behalf of the Six Flags Corporation, a gift. Something that says, I'm sorry for the damage that you caused to the cell phone. You know what? I know this is the thing. Layla, it's the bewitching time of year, right? How about we carve up a pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern and you can take that home and your family can lug it around the park for the rest of the night. That's that something right? Now I've got one pumpkin there and I've got one pumpkin here. Just tell me which side, left or right? Right side, perfect. Ashley's gonna go over there and grab that. I'm gonna hang your phone here for a moment because we're gonna need our hands. Perfect, just like that. Have you ever carved a pumpkin before? One time, well that's all we need. That's gonna be good practice. I'll remind you in case you forget any of the steps. Now when you're doing this sort of thing, the main thing you wanna make sure is you have a nice clean pumpkin. And this one is, this is a brand new pumpkin. They cleaned all the dirt off for me. Let's take a little bit closer to our audience. Let's go down here so they can see better of what we're doing. Would you stand right there for me, perfect? Now, as you might remember, the first thing you have to do is you have to remove the top portion, which is known as the lid. Do we have a knife back there for Layla? I'll do the cutting. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make a slice all the way around the top, just like this here, and I'll have you remove that in a moment. Uh, do you know why Cinderella was so bad at football? because she had a pumpkin for a coach. <laughs> I told you they were gonna get worse people, didn't I? All right, Layla, you get to do the next part. I'm gonna have you take the lid off and just place it in this little bag here for me. I'll hold it still so it doesn't roll away. Yep, just grab it by the stump, kind of wiggle it back and forth. Beautiful, and right into that bag. Next part is we're gonna remove some of the seeds, but you just grab some seeds and guts here for me and put those in the bag as well. Uh -huh. There you go. Yep, just some of the seeds there. Mm -hmm. Good. Yep. There, there. <laughs> this will prepare you for having children. Yep. All right. Yeah. Right on this side. Uh -huh. Very nice. Next, there you wipe your hands. Up. Someone's. Your phone's starting to work again. Wait a minute. Something is coming from inside the pocket. Pumpkin seeds. We have a new show now. Could you grab that object right here? Pull it up, show the audience. It is in fact Layla's cell phone. <laughs> All right, Layla, take it out, touch the screen. Make sure that is in fact your phone. It is. Let's give our new friend from the audience a big round of applause. Well done. Well done. She could barely contain her excitement. Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Unbelievable. Next, I need to get two adults, 18 or older, up here to help me out. Two adults. If you want to help us, throw your hands in the air. Where are our adults at? Huh? 18 or older. Would you like to help us, sir? Yeah? Yeah, come on up here. Perfect. And uh, lady back here? Yes, you. Perfect. That's it. Yeah, go ahead and use the uh, ramps right here at the side. Perfect. Come on up. These days, have you ever noticed when you ask someone, hey, what do you watch on television? They usually would say, oh, I don't watch TV. I don't even own a TV. To that I say, liar. I am proud to admit that I still do watch TV, especially movies. Hi, what's your name? Olga, oh, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Your name, sir? Robert? Oh, I like that name. All right, thanks for joining me. Now, do you two watch television, movies, sports, news, weather, or anything like that? Yes? You as well? Beautiful. I'm glad you said that. Because you're going to help show the audience what I've got behind the curtain. My old school, big screen TV. This baby's an 82 incher. <laughs> Sir, would you hold on to this handle right here for me? Man, would you hold on to this handle right here. Perfect. They're going to give you a 360 degree view of this television so you can see it in detail. We're going to rotate it and we're going to spin in this direction. Uh -huh, just watch out for that stool there. Audience, before you, you see five fabric panels. Four sides and a top. 
They're formed together to make that rectangular shape, and they are seated on top of a piece of steel, which you'll always be able to see underneath. <laughs> Would you stand right there on that X for me and hold this, please? Beautiful. And sir, you've got an X right there, and you hold that. Staying on your X, would you both use your flashlight? Wave it underneath. Wave it across the top. Wave it through the fabric panels. Wave it at the backdrop back there. The point is you're showing everyone. Uh -huh, you can even wave it at this guy right here. Don't do that. He doesn't like that. <laughs> All right. Both of you, come down this way for me, if you would, please. I'm going to take the flashlights back. Thank you. And thank you. Your job was nice and simple. That's all we needed. Thank you very much. And thank you very much. Give our friends in the audience a round of applause. Good. Now, as for the rest of you, you get off real easy. Because you're going to sit out there, relax, and watch television. To be more accurate, you're going to watch my television. As we said before, we're giving you a view under, around, beneath, around the side, below, even through. We're going to open it up so you can see all the way to the backdrop. No bottom to it so you can see all the way through. As I mentioned before, I love to watch movies, especially this time of the year. But not the newer Halloween movies. I like the old school ones. Ones that were black and white, kind of grainy didn't have a very good storyline. Sometimes it didn't have a storyline at all. But there was something very enchanting about them. You could take a moment to snuggle up with someone that you cared about. Turn those lights way down low and enjoy that moment together. I'm going to do that with all of you right now and this TV. Now a vintage television comes with a vintage TV remote. This is considered compact in its day. Let's pull up some old school television. You're picking the phone. Great. Commercial. What's that? You remember this one? Yo, where's Dookie? All right, so Dookie picks up the phone. We'll all do it together. Get out of our systems. Yo. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Let's see what else is up. Oh, this movie's one of my favorites. I've seen it almost a dozen times. There's something about it that just seems to bring Halloween to life. Keep on turning. Ooh, the crowd never 
from the audience and uh, a friend here. What's your real name? Becca. Oh, it is Becca? Okay. Nice to meet you, Becca. Thanks for coming here. Pleasure. Here, man, you stand right in the center. We'll get some light on you. Where are you from in the world? Um, Maryland? Yeah. It's very specific. Thank you. <laughs> now, Becca, we'll get you that glow stick in a moment, but I'm going to give you something much better than just a glow stick. I'm also going to give you a memory to take off. Do you have family or friends back there with you? All right, get those cameras rolling back there because Becca is gonna take the stage for the next few moments. But don't worry, you're not gonna be by yourself. The Fly Girls here are gonna help you out, Jacqueline and Ashley, they've got that glow stick for you right there, uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, make a bunch of noise for the amazing Becca! some moves there. Now, I was watching over here from the wings, and I don't know if you people saw this, but she was actually riding around and getting it. Very impressive combination. Thank you so much for coming up here. I appreciate it. Give her another round of applause, folks. Now, this is weekend three of seven of Frank Fest. We've got more entertainment coming up still this evening around the park. Dead Man's Party has a show left. Our new show called Circus Street. They have a show left as well at 8.45. We brought together some of the world's top circus performers from Costa Rica, Orlando, Las Vegas. We put them all together and you sit in the center ring, up close and personal. You don't want to miss it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, as a magician, I love to meet people in the audience, but it's not practical to meet this many. But with technology, I can get close. I've got a camera back here, and I can actually kind of zoom in and see everyone's faces real fast. Uh -huh. This is my wife, April Raddatz, celebrating 26 years of the entertainment business. How about that? Isn't that great? Yeah. Now, we've been married for seven years, and I remember when I first met her parents, I told them that I was a magician, and their response was actually quite happy, and they were excited, and I was taken back by that. But a few years after we were married, her father confessed that they thought I said physician. Yeah. yeah. So they're quite disappointed now. That's right. I've got a 
camera, mounted to a camera. It's hooked up so we have a live video feed. This is all real time. People in the front row, wave so they know you're not mannequins. Uh-huh. Give them a little wave there. All right. William, I'll get you getting me. Okay, there we go. Uh-huh. All the way back. Kid, don't pick your nose. All right, all the way back there. Good. I'm going to turn this off for now, but we will be using it a little bit later on. It's going to play a part in what we're about to do. Dear, are you ready? All right. Because it's time to... Thanks so much for joining us.